Welcome back to another El Yucateco recipe video, everybody. My name is Mike, and today I'm going to share with you probably the most delectable barbecue recipe out there. Today we're going to be doing pork belly burnt ends, and we're going to be incorporating our favorite sauce to really kick it up. And it's coming up right now. Once again, welcome back everybody. We really appreciate your support. And if you're not following us here yet, please consider doing so by hitting the button down there. You don't wanna miss out on any of these awesome recipes that we're putting out. Now, pork belly burn ends is a barbecue delicacy. And I'm gonna show you a recipe today that takes all the intimidation right out of it. We're gonna get this done in a couple simple steps. I'll walk you through it, but I'll keep it brief. Let's get right into the recipe. I'm starting here with approximately a four pound piece of pork belly. Now you'll see this labeled as boneless and skinless. And although this is what bacon is made out of, this is not bacon. So you have to remember, this is not cured in salt. So this we're gonna be applying salt to, a pretty generous amount that's gonna be in our barbecue rub. Because burn ends will shrink and reduce during the cook process, we wanna cut these in a little bit bigger pieces. We are gonna start by cutting these into approximately inch and a half squares. Now as you're cutting these, if you notice there's some that are a little larger than others, don't freak out, it's no big deal. Your cook is still gonna turn out just fine. Just do your best and take your time. So something about that size is really what you're looking for. If it's a little larger, a little smaller, don't worry about it. So these are all cut up, that only took about one minute. Next is the seasoning stage. I encourage you to use your favorite barbecue rub here. I'll be using a homemade rub today, and if you want the recipe for that, I'll put it down in the description. Very simple balance of salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and smoked paprika. So we just want to get a coating on these. Then we'll get them mixed up, apply another coat. And just repeat until they are well coated. Seasoning done. Now let's get these transferred onto a wire rack. Now that these are on a rack, we're just gonna hit these up with one more top coating of our rub. There we go, very simple. Now I'll be doing this cook on a pellet smoker today and we'll be running it between 225 and 250 degrees the entire way. I'll be using a maple hickory cherry pellet today to add a little bit of sweetness to these pork belly burn ends as they cook. Now this cook comes in three parts. The first part is getting this on the smoker to develop a beautiful bark and crust on the outside of these burn ends. Now depending on what temperature your cooker runs at and depending on how big these are cut, that first phase will take approximately two to two and a half hours. Typically your bark will be set between a temperature of 170 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit internal temperature. So have a meat probe handy. Once your bark is set and you can scratch the surface of these without any rub coming off, we will then move on to the braising process or tenderizing process, where we'll transfer these into a foil pan and add some wonderful ingredients like butter, brown sugar, your favorite barbecue sauce, maple syrup, and of course, the most important ingredient, the El Yucateco Red to really kick this recipe off. Then we'll cover that pan in foil, put it right back on the cooker, and give it approximately another one to one and a half hours until they are perfectly tender. Typically, that perfectly tender temperature is gonna be about 200 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit internal temperature. Once again, have your meat probe handy. Once you achieve that temperature and that tenderness, the last phase of this cook is just to tear that foil off the top, mix those burn ends up, and give it approximately another 30 minutes on the cooker for that sauce to set up perfectly. So this cook is done. It was about a four hour cook time as predicted. Times may vary, but don't forget I'll have all the details down in the description with the full recipe in case you have any questions. So the aromas coming off of these are absolutely incredible. I can't wait any longer. It's time for the taste test. And you can just see how tender these are. Cheers, everybody. Okay, so those are absolutely delectable. I mean, crazy good. This is a barbecue delicacy, like I told you at the beginning of this video. This El Yucateco really, really absorbed into these pork belly burn ends during that tenderizing phase. 
and it just kicks these pork belly burn ends up a hundred notches. So let us know what you thought of this recipe. Leave me a comment down below. Have you made burn ends before? Maybe share your recipe with us down there. That's it for today's video. I sincerely appreciate your time and hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something and I will see you on the next video.